welcome to a special edition of Bump in the Night, where we have the boogeyman, Johnny Zuko, and, and Ginger Snack, facing off in a game of Would You Rather. Would You Rather. And I am Miss Moyes, your hostess with the mostess. <laughs> Makes me want like a hostess treat. <laughs> mm, nice. Mm. Mmm, that's moist. <laughs> so this is a long episode. This is a long episode in the making. We originally were talking about doing this like last month or no, even like April, well, May. We actually wanted to talk, do this. Well, actually, originally, the original idea for it was to do a two-part episode. Then one of them was going to be our review on the Would You Rather movie, mm -hmm. talk about it, and then kind of talk about the psyche and stuff going into, and then kind of lead into the game show with the second episode right that was kind of the original idea but then just kind of sprouted and then just let the game show became the focus of it yeah so, um we were originally going to have a few other people scheduling conflicts couldn't make it i'm on a different schedule too so it's kind of hard i mean if you listen, we haven't even been in the same room for about like a month. I know. A month I feel. And a half. I feel like what happened? Yeah, it's, we've been like all over the place. But yeah, so like this, we actually we reached out to people asking questions like, "Hey, give us a scenario, a horror version scenario of Would You Rather," and people, you know, had a good turnout. So we were using I, some of those questions. I had a great turnout. Um, I have to uh, give a shout out at the top of the show to uh, Lee Garrett from Tales from the Video Store podcast. Uh, Joshua Trunks from Spooky Movies One on One, uh, Aaron Della Torre from Cinema Space Podcast, and um, just for and Smooth G, Smooth from, G. from Smooth Takes, <laughs> from for giving us some outlandish fucking questions because some of the ones I got are pretty gnarly. I'm excited to to answer those. Yeah, so uh, I want to send a big shout out to those people that uh, took the time and uh, sent us. There are four questions, so mm -hmm. um, much appreciated. Just know that your questions did not go in vain, so yeah, we are going to use them. <laughs> I want to thank my family and friends who participate in this, too. So Thank you. And I just want to mention... I feel like I'm at the Emmys or something. The Emmys? <laughs> and the award goes to... And the Oscars. Thank you, Satan. Thank you. To all my friends. I thank you, God. This. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Shout out to Jesus. I always love, like, Jesus. when... The Ramones got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Dee Dee Ramone, his speech was like, I'd like to thank myself and myself for, for writing Amen. This all this stuff. <laughs> Snoop, Snoop Dogg did the same thing. He goes, for I want to thank myself because I'm the one that put in the work to do exactly. this. Exactly. But I just want to mention right now, Johnny, <laughs> the boogeyman is drinking a duff right duff now. Duff beer. Duff beer. Duff man right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, this is actually pretty good, man. I, you like it? Yeah, I actually like it. I'm actually going to go back and get more. Well, we it. have been If surprised. it wasn't $5 a can, I'd probably buy more. <laughs> Shout out to Duff. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> well, duff we man. have bottomless mimosas. The ladies are drinking bottomless mimosas, which yeah, that's is a, tasty. Uh, that's a woman thing. You hey, know? Oh. everybody can drink it. Everybody I don't can drink know. It. I've gone to bottomless mimosas before and there's been... And you know, just, they're kind of dangerous, just, though. It's just, just dangerous because it's like the stereotype and stuff like that. So. Yeah. And Johnny's the never had one. Are you calling me old? I'm calling huh? both of you old. Fucking Kane hey, You know what? I bitch. feel... <laughs> I feel like I'm 90 at heart, so it's, it's all good. It's all right. I'm the opposite. I always act like about five years old. I wish I was retired and living in like a retirement community. Everyone's old and I have a golf cart. Drinking mimosas in the golf court. Get the fuck out of my way. You know, Stay off my lawn. Don't let your dog heart. shit on my lawn. Get the fuck off my lawn, you motherfucker. All right, so. Shannon, or uh... <laughs> Ms. Moist is going to be the one asking us questions. And we have, so by the way, to clarify, Johnny and I have no idea what we're going to be asked. So this is going to make it more fun. I'm excited to answer these. I hope I answer all of them because our penalty, if we do not answer these questions within 10 seconds, we are going to get shocked. Literally yeah. shocked. Uh, and you have to hold it for 10 seconds. Shut the hell up. Are you yeah. serious? Shut up. Are you serious? I'm going to get like There's a heart There's no attack. way you can hold that thing. This thing packs a little punch. Uh, it That's really does. Hey, 
Originally, that's what Miss Moy said. I was going to get a taser. I'm but scared. I'm really scared. I actually not. tried to look up online how to make a thing to shock you guys. Like, oh, no, I mean, where it's it has easy. like you take apart okay, so, some electronic thing. No, and, yeah, that's easy. We used to do that in high school. So in high school, we used to get the, the little mo- uh, por- uh, Motorola cameras. Yeah, yeah. The portable cameras. Yeah. The little ones. Oh yeah, it was and online. So you would take the you would take it the, the flash online. off, and then you can actually make it into like a little taser. That's really well. Scary. Now we know. Well, now we know. That's crazy. And you we heard to, it here. We used to do this. So whenever like you would go up and you would snap, like push to take a photo. Yeah. You can sh- shock. Does someone. it shock your whole body though, or just like a little like just like <laughs> just a little like yeah. Boop. But okay. it, it fucking hurts though. Uh, well, this one was a surprise. Johnny got me with this earlier, and I had no idea. Hey, you want some gum? You sent so him a pitch? if you guys are ever shopping for some kind of little game thing or some kind of little uh, trick thing, do not get the pen. Yeah. What was the other one? Uh, the shock pen is shit. It doesn't work. The shock pen. Yeah. The shock pen is not. What we was the other thing? It. Well, from what you guys said. Well, you need to try Wait, it. Wait, she did it in the car. Well, she, she opened it, it up. She, she didn't try it. So the gum actually. Works. So. Works and kind of hurts. So we have. It's like Pee Wee Herman. So the rules are <laughs> uh, we get asked a question. Yeah. We have 10 seconds. 10 seconds. To answer. If we don't, we have to get shot. So how do we choose who goes first? Choose rock, a number. Paper, scissors? Choose a number. Wait, oh, yeah. Got, rock, paper, scissors. I got a Go. coin. I got a coin. Oh, okay. Heads do or rock, tails. No, do rock, paper, no, scissors. No, coin. Rock, paper, leave, scissors. Leave it up to fate. Okay. Leave it up to fate. Heads. I'll call heads. Well, we know you like heads. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Heads or tails? Heads, heads or, tails. or tails? I can make a dirty right. joke heads. out of either we'll of them. Heads. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> flip it right. <laughs> you flip That was flip. a mimosa flip. <laughs> I know that's okay. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Is it heads or tails? What is it? it looks like tails. So tails. Johnny goes first then? Yeah. All right. So we know I you pick, like so tails. You go first. I go first. Or tails. Okay, I go first. All right. How many mimosas have we had? I mean, I think One I'm on my. Many. I, I am an insane lightweight, so I'm halfway through one, and I'm already. This is my third. Feeling stupid. <laughs> Get stupid. Don't let me drink alone. Don't let me drink alone. <laughs> this episode's been very long. People. It's mimosa o'clock this. somewhere. Oh my All God. right. All right. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. It right. better be good, Johnny. It better be good. Some of these are gnarly. I don't even know if you'll be able to answer some of these. Oh, I will answer these. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show all of them. Which one do you want to pick? Let's see. Wait, sorry. Actually, I'm not even going to read through them. I'm just going to go down. Just go down? Oh, my gosh. Just go down. You, you start the timer after you read it. I Okay. I'm just I saying. know. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Do you want to be Miss Moist? I'll trade places with you. Is that cake moist? <laughs> All right. Would you rather, would you rather be hunted by Jason Voorhees hmm. on Camp Crystal Lake or be on a spaceship with a tenomorph? Xenomorph. Did I? Oh. A xenomorph? It's an X. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> That looks. Whose writing is that? Ready? Yeah. Go. I'd rather be hunted by Jason because at least I'm on Earth. I'm on the ground, so I could get away easily. In space, you're fucked. Like you, there's no escaping space. So I'd rather get hunted by Jason. <laughs> Your answer sucked. <laughs> no, <What? I'm> kidding. <laughs> no, space is scary. Like you can't That's go true. anywhere. So no, rather, you well, you scary. know yeah. your surroundings. Yeah, yeah. So I'd rather be hunted by Jason. And that was who? Who did that question? Oh, that, that was, was a little boring. Don't say. It was kind of boring. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping these will heat It up. wasn't challenging. Well, you picked the wrong page, so. Did you exit out? I'm just that going. Out? Yes, Miss Virgo. Shit. <laughs> that shit out. Yeah, you put okay. All right, ready? That. Oh, All right. Okay. Johnny, now. It's your right. turn. Okay. Except we need to start moving faster. I'm yeah. going to do this faster. Would you, would you rather. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Cut your eyes out with a knife, dipped in bleach. Or pour acid on your teeth every night for one week. Ooh. Go. Uh, shit. <laughs> Give me the shot. Oh, he's gonna get shocked. Do it with your teeth. 
Do you have to shot yourself in the mouth? <laughs> ah, ah. Pussy. <sighs> it didn't even get you. Yeah, it did. Do it. <laughs> I don't think this is working. Is it working? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop. You don't even need to like. Did you discard it? it? Discard that. Okay, just throw on the floor. <laughs> All dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what happened. Fix that. <clears throat> okay. okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Would you rather be a... I can't read your writing. <laughs> a victim of the cannibal holocaust oh, shit. film crew or a victim that's... Part of the human centipede. A part of the human centipede. Holy Fuck. shit. Go. Oh my god, fuck. Neither of these are good. Fuck. Um, well, I mean, what do you centipede, want? Centipede, centipede. Uh, so you like the taste of shit in your mouth then? Oh yeah, just put that <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> One girl. That was for the shit thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both of those are fucked situations. But Miss Moist is down with most things. Yeah. I don't want my mouth shit. <laughs> if I had a chew, I mean, they get like eaten and shit. So I'd rather like... Be alive still and eat shit? Yeah, I mean, that'd be, you know. The you guy could has be the head of the centipede. Yeah, if I'm like the head of the centipede, like that's, and that the guy has work. fun and he's like. Hey, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't even know what position you might be. You could be in the 300 one. There's no <laughs> end. Imagine well, he, he, that. He's more Imagine fun. shit 300 times down the line after all oh those people God. had eaten shit. Well, you know, he has more fun. He speaks English where the cannibal holocaust crew, they had no idea what was going on. And they were just assholes. To be and they with. were assholes, so. All right. All right so, yeah. moving on. Moving on up. Moving on up to the east side. Now it's going to be stuck in my head. All right. Would you rather watch your mom get sawed in half, but you walk away with a million dollars, or would you rather <laughs> have your hands and feet cut off but your mom lives. Go! Hands and feet cut off. Wow, really? Oh, I hope your mom listens to this. Yeah, no. Like, he was quick to answer that one. Yeah, no, that's... No, I would never put my family like that. No way. <laughs> Look at him getting all deep on all us. I tell He's you, all unless, serious. Unless it's Miss Moist, then I have no problem. With oh. <laughs> she can be the, the 300th person, person get, in the centipede and sawed in half. I get a yeah. million dollars. And so. fuck that. Yeah. That's reparations. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do the it. Is coming out. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Feels good to throw stuff. Definitely. Just, just yes. know that we're not cleaning that shit up. I know. I'm gonna have to clean it up since it's my house. All right. Are you Are you ready? I am ready. Come on. I want juicy ones, Johnny. Like where the ju well, that's mine. Oh that's wait, wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Touch that hat. Put your hand in there. <laughs> Should I start taking bobbing for <laughs> bobbing for questions? They're, they're, they're bobbing coming. for questions. That mine, sounds mine so bad. Up. Okay, all right. We'll okay, see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll is this up. the first page? Yeah. Well, not technically, oh. it's not the first page. That's the third page. We don't know. <laughs> no, because I, the third page I, I wrote first Shut up. Two. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. So question. Bad. Question. Question. Come on, I'm just teasing you. I am. Ginger Would snap. you rather? Be trapped in a jigsaw contraption mm -hmm. that relied on your communicating with your significant other or or tell your whole family your deepest, darkest secret at a wedding, toast. wedding during the toast. Go. Wedding toast. You would rather do that? Yeah, because I don't have, I mean, I don't really have like. Yeah, so share. You have five more seconds to share your deepest, darkest Actually, secret. Actually, no, she has two seconds. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> I don't have like a lot of like my only. I mean, I'll admit this on air. I don't care. My deepest darkest secret is I'm attracted to men in masks. <laughs> oh, a little a little cosplay a in little, the bedroom, but like horror related, <laughs> not like not like comic, but more like you might get all kinds of mail after this. <laughs> yeah. That's Ginger it. snap, I have a mask for you. You can email all your dick pictures. I know how to make you scream. <laughs> I'll make you scream. <laughs> Next. All right. Stop, stop, boop. Notorious. Reset. All right. Oh, we're going out there. I guess that's the one I want to be asked. Wait. Okay, ready? 
Would you rather be alone in a hotel room with Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> Or would you rather have a drink with Bill Cosby? Go. Uh, I'd Ooh. rather be alone with Harvey Weinstein. Whoa. At, at least I, can kick I would his too. Ass. I would fuck that guy up. No, but you know, ass. like what's gonna happen? You can't kick his ass. It'd be like you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> you can thank Rudy for that question. <laughs> um, well, no, I mean, you know, like, you're gonna get raped. Like it's you're gonna get raped either way. Well, no, the reason, well, I, I don't want to say that, but the thing is, is that most of them were scared for yeah. their position. I don't have a position. Yeah. I don't care. I fucking make sure one of us is leaving that room. And it's going to be you. <laughs> Remember the movie where, where the dick got bag. stuck in the guy's ass? What? What was the movie we were watching where the dick got, it was what Trooper or no? What was it? Death Gasm? <laughs> was that what it was? Where the dick got Did stuck in the it? guy's ass? Do they show it? Yeah, that would be you with Harvey Wine. <laughs> and then you would break him in half in the doorway. <laughs> my butt, my butthole clenches Your butt so, clench hard so hard and that... rips his dick off. <laughs> that would cause a lot of hemorrhoids right there. <laughs> awesome. So you'd rather be with Weinstein? Yeah. Okay. okay. At least there's a 50 Reset. 50 chance. Okay. Alrighty. Do the math. Stop doing that. You're echoing the doing what? microphones. That. I'm a little tipsy. All right. Next. All right. It's this one, isn't it? I just oh, it's my turn. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one that's Ginger here? Snip is a little tipsy. <laughs> I had to for today, guys. Okay. Sorry. This sucks. We're never getting to use this thing. He used it once. Trust me. I will. Maybe okay. if his questions were harder, I would use it. What? <laughs> Ooh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> Fine, Bill. Trust me. Okay, okay. We'll see. We'll All see. All right. Would All right. you rather be super handsome and physically fit with a microphone penis? Microscopic penis. Small penis. Small you put micro microphone. It's microscopic. <laughs> or, f what is that? Or fat and ugly. Hey, what's wrong with being fat? Or fat and ugly. Or ugly with a monster cock. Go! Fuck. Well, what's actually, wrong with being ugly for that I, question? Actually, for that matter. Actually, you would have to have like a oversized clit, so I don't know how that would work. I guess I'm getting shocked. So if you're a Scorpio, it doesn't matter how you look. You're probably I mean, gonna get laid anyway. To quote Chucky, <laughs> no. To quote no. Chucky, it's hey, not hey. the size that counts; it's what you do with it. It's not the meat. I'm real, I'm it's scared. the hashtag. It's I'm not scared. the meat. It's emotion. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. Grab that. Grab it. Look at you. Have no, to pull stop, it. Stop being a pull pussy. my face. <laughs> <laughs> it does shock. It this really is does like shock. the pull my finger thing. Like pull, pull my, my finger. <laughs> pull my monster. Cock. It does shock. No, it shocks. <laughs> I can't answer a dick question because I feel well. You know what? If I was wait, was it handsome? But imagine and rich? yourself as a guy. No, you're handsome. You're super handsome, but yeah. you and you're physically fit. We have a small you, dick. You have a very small dick. You have a microphone penis. See, I've dated a guy like that, so and then oh, you have to, and then do you're tell over, more secrets over, and then you're overweight, <laughs> Scorpion and unattractive secrets. with a. Hey, being Greasy fat is not dick. unattractive. I don't know. I feel that's a really hard question because I feel like that's a nightmare. Sorry. That's like a nightmare for a lot of guys. I, Having a, well, I mean, I got shocked. I can't answer that. I don't. I know. don't know if don't you know. can use other things. If you have a nice tongue, yeah, you might be able to make I up mean, for it. There's always ways but if to you compensate. Look like, if you look like the, the two twins from Nothing But Trouble, yeah, it's gotten kind of hard to get laid. Yeah. I don't know. You can't see his face when it's down there. <laughs> That's true. I you can feel see like... the warts on his fucking shoulders, though. Yeah. Oh, true. I don't know. That, I, I mean... don't know. Love transcends all. <laughs> it might not matter. If they have a great personality. If they have a great personality. Yeah. We live in a world where everything's superficial. That's true. And, no, we don't. No, we do today for women, at least. And especially for men. Like, if a, if a, or if a unattractive... And we talked about this we did, too. We did talk about this. We talk this. about this, and like one of the reasons why 
you know, horror movies, they it kept the cast, you know, unattractive, you know, heavy set males. Yeah. And they're creepy and they, they come off creepy. Or they're the joke. Yeah. They're like the and com- so comic that's, relief. That's yeah. why, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, they're, and, and a woman is not going to give them the time or day. Especially right. if they come up to them in a bar. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Yeah, just, it's it's just the way I see it. That's just like no. I do think personality. Like I like the weird guys and quirky. You guys You have to get past it, though. You do. You do. I, I mean, don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I think it, it's I don't have I'm not speaking type. for you, but I'm just saying. Just well, like I'm in just, general. But I'm speaking for me. I'm just saying. And especially I don't, when you speak I've never from had a type. It's just like it's hard. Like. It's always been different. Like the guy, every guy I've dated, depends, they've right? looked kind of different. They yeah. dress different. Yeah. Usually, it's but I think if the they question, make me laugh I think and the they're humor, like to bang. Okay, let, let me just put this on the table. Sense of humor is freaking key. Guys. Oh my gosh! If you're a sense hot of dude humor and you don't hot. have a sense of sense humor, sense of humor is hot. Sense of humor really makes a woman like, you know, like it. it it really doesn't or Miss matter. Moist, anyway. <laughs> or Moist. <laughs> you could date a hot guy, but if he's just got like a rotten uh, personality and he's not funny, I've met hot there's guys and there. they're just all flat. There's nothing like there. They're... Or a jock, like, there's nothing there, you know? <coughs> all right, we spent too much on this. Next! All right. That wasn't me saying to move on, I was just me generally coughing. I, I agree with you, though. We we do live in a very superficial It's society. just hard. It's hard it to get hard. past that initial. We have for a thing. long time, though. Oh, for sure. Although, I have to say that I think that. Social media, there's a lot of down to social media, but yeah. I think on the other side of that, the social media has changed the game a little bit yeah. in acceptance of things that are not the norm, like being heavier set right. maybe or not looking. Um, I, I feel like it has sort of. Although now it's different but because you would have to. But the question is, is that you're supposed to, you're supposed to look at the guy from the human centipede too. You're supposed to look like him. You ever seen this human centipede too? Yeah, but I don't it get kind of, like you know that's kind of like you know I mean, that right there. So deep, right? Just You're talking like, to oh. someone that like thinks Art the Clown is hot, so I don't know. Like we have okay, to never mind. But moving he, on, he is moving cute. On. You know what? Well, let's let's table this discussion for later. I would like to let's have go. a future episode on that. Though. Yeah, I we'll, really we'll, would. We'll, we will. Okay, we will. definitely. So now it's, that's on the docket. It's, no, it's you now. Is it? No, no, I got shocked. It's me. Oh, yeah. I got shocked. <laughs> I just like this. Sounds like a vibrator. No. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You might fucking suck Maybe I'll just put apart. this in the drawer with my other stuff. Have a good time later. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm all just... Think of some masks later. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. Would you rather... I'm supposed to get one from here. Oh, whoops. The pink hat. The pink elephant, if you will. The taupe. This yes. is taupe. Yeah. Taupe. All right. Would you rather have your body covered in ticks that are ready to explode or where's the barfing sound or be stuck in a sleeping bag with tarantulas? Well, I used to have a pet tarantula, so but they I bite. probably would They can not. bite if, if aggravated. Uh, That's a hard, my mom thought of this one. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes. My mom uh, thought of this one. She got, uh, getting shocked. Mm-hmm. Getting shocked. How about if we, like, up the ante, you have to do it on different parts of your body? Nipples, the nips, some purple nipples. <laughs> it needs Look, to he's be all cool. Purple nipples today. I'll pull it. With she something said. else. <laughs> oh, my God. Do it. <sighs> do it. It hurts, yeah, right? It did really shocked. do it. Oh, my God. Give me your fucking, give me this. No, pull, no, no. Yeah, you'll hey, do... I'm not involved in this. Th- give me your fucking hand. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Look at him all intense. Fight, fight. What a face. It's like. There. It does work. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. Try it on your nipple. No. <laughs> All right. Try it on your nipple. <laughs> That's right up my alley. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what I did. There we go. It's my turn now. Would you rather race in a foot race for your life? What does that say? You saying bolt? What? Or what? You might Johnny have to read, read that. I don't know I what that Johnny's says. I think he was Ooh. trying to write really fast, so he left Who out. Who would you things. rather race for your life? You saying bolt or Michael Myers? Who? You saying bolt? Who's that? Olympian. Michael Myers, because he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably got a big dick. 
Yeah, he, he he's like, probably he, got a monster. He's probably cock. got like girth. Like I don't think it's like long, long, like a long schlong, but I think he's got like a good <laughs> thick girth going on. Hitting all those spots. You know? Every letter in the <laughs> alphabet. The G spot, the yeah. A spot, so the Michael, D spot. I mean, you know me, Mike. Mike is my guy, so I'm going to choose Mike. Just Maybe saying. we should have waited for a mimosas for Miss Moyes after the show. 30 seconds later. <laughs> see what you got me thinking about? <laughs> hey, uh, I've got so many plants in Scorpio. My brain is there constantly. I hear you. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> So it's John John's turn. All right, wait. Did you have any nicknames growing up? Uh, Chucky. Chucky. Interesting. Why? When I was uh, when I was a kid, because you were a Julian. Look, no, when I was a kid, I had like kind of red hair and what? Had chubby cheeks. You were a ginger as a kid. Not not red red hair, but like kind of like brownish reddish. Yeah. If you see like Auburn. my my uh. My uh, school picture, you see. Or like my baby picture. The only picture I saw of you was a cute photo. It was you as a kid and you wearing a hat. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, before that, if you see my actual baby picture, um, I look like Chucky. Did you really? Yeah. And <laughs> someone saw that and then like everyone told him, he looks like Chucky. And then That's someone funny. saw Child's Play. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, you do <laughs> look like Chucky. Chucky's awesome. So Chucky throughout uh, elementary and okay. then... White boy, <laughs> middle school, white redneck, play that fucking music. I, got, I had a sunburn right here, oh, so they called me redneck. Music. And then I had another John. I had another nickname called uh, N John. So what's N John? Can't say that on air. Okay. Oh. But okay. yeah, it's because they thought I was trying to be. Uh, right. Okay. I get it. Yeah. So like, oh. So what nicknames have you had? I was like terribly bullied as a kid. So mm. I didn't really. Those I mean, aren't real nicknames. Those are people being assholes. Yeah, in eighth, that doesn't count. In eighth grade, though, I looked like Tiffany from Bride of Chucky, so I got a lot of like Tiff. Um, I don't know, I, but as a kid, I was like Eloise. I don't know if you remember Eloise at the Plaza, crazy blonde hair running around causing mischief. So Eloise, <laughs> but yeah, in middle school, I didn't really. I mean, they're really, really cruel to me. Like I was not. Me and my gay friend in eighth grade were nominated as king, king and queen as a joke. So I was like terribly bullied. So I didn't really have like a lot of good nicknames, but um, Blondie was like popular in high school. I got a lot of Debbie Harry Blondie references. Uh, Anna Nicole. <laughs> um, so th- those are like the only ones. Or uh, Red, if I had, when I used to have red hair, I was like, Red, hey Red. But mostly like Blondie. Yeah. I think I had the nickname. I had a friend that we were Chi Chi and Coochie. Coochie? I was Coochie. Is that Coochie? <laughs> Yes, we were like referring her, body parts. Yeah. <laughs> Referencing. But didn't the singer Ch- Charo? I thought, I thought they were trying to say uh, Coochie, Coochie, Coochie. Coochie. Coochie was hers and Coochie was mine. Coochie, let me see that Coochie. Shenanigans. That's, I like that for you. a lot. I like that. A lot. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of any more. So played. let's do a little announcement. Bullying sucks. It really does. Step in if yeah. you happen to see it. Yes. Do not keep walking. Absolutely. Any situation, I'm big on that. Yeah. I don't care. No and one I walked in when I was kids. bullied. I'm like, yeah. if I hear that you ever touched it, yep, we found anyone, or you did not do anything. Yeah. Not that I want my kids to put themselves in danger, but still, stand up for no, people. No, that, that's, I mean, Johnny and do I. Do what's right. Johnny and I on our way here, do we're talking right about, like, regrets, and that's one thing I regret. Like, I do wish I could have, like, I mean... I wish I didn't get as bullied, but I, I moved to LA and everyone at the time in like 2002 was into like tans and long hair and like I was like gothic, so I didn't fit in in LA at all. I actually hung out with older people that were in bands because I got along better with them, like punk and rock people. So I didn't get along with anybody at my school because they were all bleach blonde, fake tans, Britney Spears, like that was not my thing, so... I do wish I, I kind of was more of an asshole. I was just really shy. I did stand up when I had to, but I was, like, really, really shy. So that is one thing I wish I could go back and be like, fuck you, motherfucker, you know? But I was kind of different in school, but I was really kind of fuck you. <laughs> I got that way more in high yeah. school. Yeah. I became more. So when I got older in high school, I was more that way. And I actually got along with everybody. Like, in high school, I got along with people that were into hip-hop. Yeah, rap, see, I didn't have a anybody. preference. Yeah. And for me, it wasn't. I wasn't trying to be... Anything except for myself. Yeah. And then I would just be myself with people. Yeah. And I didn't care how they looked. I had friends that were like punk rockers or whatever that were like, why are you talking to that person? 
connect. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe click, they were right? like, it, it becomes it just as much of a click. Yeah. Just as much. But I could never be like that. Like, yeah. that was never my personality. I never, yeah. and I still, to this day, I, I let, you have to give me a big reason to yeah. fucking hate For you. Sure. Or be a bully or. Yeah. For sure. If I find out you're the one that bullied Elisa. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh. you. Yeah. So Make sure to Al, don't get too close to the microphone. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Who's I want that bully it? to know. <laughs> uh, it is your turn. My turn. It's your turn. Okay. All right. The taupe hat. The shaming, or Miss Moist the calls taupe. it. The taupe. Pink, what is it? Pink brown? Is that yeah. taupe? Pink yeah. brown. Yeah, All right. Pick a good question out of there. Yeah, grab that. <laughs> don't have that. <laughs> Did you ever see that little um, cartoon with the cat? Which cat? And it, the cat, like the think bubble over the cat. It's like the owner is cleaning the litter box. And it's all, scoop that shit, you little <laughs> slut. <laughs> no, but I can't imagine that's how cats are. Like, scoop that shit. Clean scoop that my shit, shit, bitch. Clean my shit up, you fucking bitch. Oh, my God. All right. Would you rather be agoraphobic and be trapped inside your house with a serial killer... Or would you rather have a fear of the ocean and be stuck on a boat lost at sea with a person you really hate, but you can't kill them? Go! Do you know what agoraphobic is? I know what agoraphobic is. Uh, (laughs) It's fear of angora sweaters. Agoraphobic. Fucking go. Oh, oh, you know what? You're an Aries. I think you just like to be shocked. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, shock me. You yeah, need yeah, pain. get that. No, no, no. I hold it. I get to give the pain. Uh, Did it stop working? No. Look at it stuck. No ah! pain. No pain, no gain. Right? All right. Where do I, I throw these again? I was, was going to say gorephobic, but it's like. Oh. You can't leave your house. So gorephobic is. Uh, fear leave. of leaving outside of like your yeah. Comfort what I was zone. thinking is like you know, but he's on my turf, so I'd be able to have. I would say the, the advantage. Miss Moyes, can I give it a little bit? The fear of sharks. Well, I was gonna... stuck on a boat when you have a fear of sharks. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather be agoraphobic because lost at sea. Oh, wait, we should have done the porn sound. Like lost at so to, to me to be stuck on water, that's terrifying, right? Mm-hmm. You can't you can't escape that. So I feel like. Agoraphobic, at least you're in your house, you know the secret passageways of your house or, you know, like closet spaces, things you can... If you're agoraphobic, you truly know your house down to the detail. Yeah. So I feel like your hiding chances are easier, your weapons are easier. I was thinking of that movie, uh... The Hulu one? Yeah. Yeah. It was garbage. The Thanksgiving episode? Garbage. It was okay, but I just did not like the ending. I liked the premise, but I wanted a little bit more. Yeah. She was good, though. She was the one in Ma. Yeah, she, she was, she was yeah. good. All right, so that's... No, no. No, it was my no, turn now. My, my turn, turn now. Turn. Yeah. I hope you get juicier, man. Like, I want some juicy, like, hard I'm going to switch shit. pages. Here we yeah, go. switch that page. <laughs> you little slut. <laughs> you little <laughs> slut. Yeah, switch I'm gonna that, my you little bitch. <laughs> for mm, Stop it. Stop it. I like it. those Virgos. What is this, eyes wide shut? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Her turn. Oh, wait. Well, that's where I was, and then the hat was pushed towards me. I'm going to so put then this I'm down like, here. Maybe I'm confused. <clears throat> All right. Would you rather get pissed on? Ew. Was this Germany? Would you... <laughs> is this Germany? They like to piss on people. Would you rather get pissed on or shit on? Would you rather do a toss salad? <laughs> pissed on. Pissed wait. On. <laughs> pissed on. Shit Yeah, gross. really? Why would you... Shit's gross, man. You don't know where that, like, what they ate. You if could they get, ate, if they ate, like, you Taco Bell. You could get Bell, hepatitis. You get hepatitis. You can get some nasty diseases. Oh, my gosh, Taco Bell. Yeah. That, actually, that's a better question. Would you rather get shit on after somebody ate Taco Bell? Or Indian food. <laughs> or would you rather get <laughs> shit on after, what's something really hot and spicy? Um, <laughs> oh, man. I know, just, I know Indian food is, like, really heavy on the stomach. I mean, I love it. It's one of my favorite foods. No diss at all. <laughs> But it's very heavy I the next day. I love hot food. I love oh my hot God. food, too. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know pissed it. on for sure. Because at least, like, the piss is Golden been... showers. Now yeah. we know what ginger snaps. 
No, come on. A little come golden on. showers. No. <laughs> In your scream mask. Shut up. Psst, I need a piss. Gulp. <laughs> All right, ready? Out of bounds. Shuffle the questions. Are you sure you have the same amount? You don't. Do I have more? Or he has more? He, he has more. Okay. All right. Would you rather open Doritos in a quiet place, in a quiet place, the movie I'm assuming? Yeah. yeah. Or unload the dishes in the Jurassic Park kitchen? Go. I thought that one was funny. Uh, Doritos. Quiet really? Place. Yeah. Okay. Because like, you don't want to mess with Velop Velopter. Velociraptor? Velociraptor. Well, <laughs> Also, that you're in the client's face. If you open Doritos like in the quiet place, at least you're kind of in an open world. How do you know? It doesn't say. It's a quiet place. Why would you have Doritos? You know how loud it is to open like a bag of chips. No, I know, but I'm yeah. saying, why would you have Doritos? Like you're snacking while you're taking a walk. I don't know. Outside. Fuck. Yeah, where are you? It doesn't matter. It's just like any noise you make in a quiet <clears throat> place, like they're going to come. I know. Oh, but then if you proof. unload the dishes in Jurassic Park Kitchen, you're fucked because those raptors. You're in a kitchen. Yeah. With velociraptors. Yeah. So there also might be knives. Yeah, but you can't. You're not going to get. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no. The dog you is have chiming to get, in. You have to this get... is the dog's reaction to your question. You know what? I agree. Never mind. <laughs> I, I agree uh -oh. with you. I'd rather open Doritos because then you can hide. Like, I'm not going to fight a fucking raptor. Because they know? don't see. They can't see. Yeah, exactly. You have to get close yeah. to a fucking velociraptor. That's At least true. with the with the aliens, yeah. you can. You have a shot. Were they aliens in a quiet place? It was I don't, never, I'm just assuming. It was never area. confirmed. No, actually, no. There's a newspaper clip that says they came to Earth or something like that. If you watch in the montage, when they're... If you look at the newspapers, they actually say, like, um, sightings and Maybe like the sequel is going to have more uh, backstory? Yeah, Why would you be opening Doritos in the first place if you're trying to get hey, away from them? Who why the fuck that... doesn't want Doritos? Why the fuck would they <laughs> get... Why the fuck did the kid fucking play with the rocket in the beginning of the movie? Yeah. Because he was a little kid. So fucking He's what? That excuses him for being stupid? Okay, when you're stressed yes, out, no, when you're a little no, kid, no, and you're curious no, about life, no, that's why you have no. parents. When, no. you're, when you're stressed yes. out, you no. want to open a bag of chips, just saying. <laughs> like in an apocalypse. Okay, you should just get shocked for that. You don't have kids, <laughs> so you don't even know. A little kid, they're going to be no, silly. You can't call stupid. No, get the fuck out of here with that. No, They no, like to bullshit. play. He answered it. He's good. My turn. All right. Bullshit. <laughs> He's getting mad. He's getting so mad. He's right? getting mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm not getting mad. I'm getting fucking irritated over here. <laughs> What is the difference? I'm not mad. I'm fucking irritated. That's the boogeyman on an everyday basis, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's oh, like an Aries. Who is that? I don't know. What, <laughs> what are that? these shenanigans going on over here? Hey, uh, I'm it's coochie. my turn. Coochie. I miss coochie to you. Coochie, coochie. <laughs> drop that coochie. <laughs> All right. My turn. This Let's is my see. life, people. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you rather... Would you rather lose your nuts... Or would you rather lose your writing arm? Go. Huh? Nuts, because so, I don't have a dick. Well, well you, <laughs> You've already you lost have, your nuts. You yeah. have to be You have to ovaries. imagine if you're a guy. Ovaries are the most. No, if you were a guy, would you rather not have any nuts? So I'm going to... No, 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 wait. So imagine that you're a guy. Yeah. Okay. Because I'd rather so have here. an arm. <laughs> no, I'd rather have an arm. Fuck you. I'd rather have an arm because I need, like... To grab things and clean all the time, so I'd rather like have an arm. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> I mean nuts. Like I could get synthetic nuts. Like that's no problem. You can. You, know? you can get. I knew somebody nuts. that had cancer. Oh, that's sad. Testicular cancer, and, and they synthetic, had synthetic fake nuts. Testicles. Was it like silicone nuts? You know, I'm women sure. get silicone boobs. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was made out of, but he had a. Nut put in. I think I'd rather get one. fake nuts. Actually, no, they're brass, I think. Brass. <laughs> Shut the hell up. They're not brass. Brass balls. <laughs> brass monkey. <laughs> oh, that's a good song. That oh, no, because in Souls of Anarchy, they had a guy named Half Second, he actually put like a bronze. Was nut that Kim on. Coates? No, that wasn't him. That was uh, Johnny Lewis. Mm. Kim Coates. 
All right. All right. I'd Ready? Rather get, I'd rather get synthetic nuts. I okay. have a real arm. You don't want to mess with like arms and legs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, take that sip. <laughs> <laughs> don't encourage her. <laughs> don't no? encourage her. Look, look at you all mean. That's because he's having a duff. Duff makes men mean, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We want sponsorship from Duff. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you ready, Boogeyman? Would you rather ugh, <laughs> slice your eye with a razor blade or swallow ten needles? Go. That's a hard one. Ugh. <laughs> Mine are harder. I Wait, feel. Jackass already beat you on this one. They would, they would just choose. I'd rather slice my eye because half of them already did it. No. Fuck no, one slice my eye. No. Done. Needles? You said no. no. You can't answer shock. You can't shock, answer no. Shock. Shock. No. Shock, shock, shock. No to shock. both. What would you rather do? We're gonna Neither. do. Okay, let's do it now. Let's reenact Jackass, and we'll go. We have paper right here. We'll give you a paper cut. Shock. 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 Look at how he's shock. <laughs> Aren't mine hard? Wait, who's ah, that? God damn it. Don't pull it too much. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to break it. That's, That's what, what he said. said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull it too much. Don't pull my dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My turn. Your turn. Okay. All right. Mine are harder to choose from. Right? There's a lot here. The ones I did are oh. try harder to use from? Yeah, so far. Wait, how many times have you been shocked? Like three We're times. not keeping score. I've only been shocked okay. once. Okay, so we need one. Man and Ginger Snap has been one. And how three. many times? He's three. Like three yeah. Oh, you might have to do it with your teeth. You might have to uh, like <laughs> shock your balls for a minute. <laughs> Should have got a taser. Shock the ball uh, and then I'll do the nips. Well, yeah, then you would yeah. have your taser. <laughs> would have to suffer. All right. Ready? Yep. Would you rather be trapped in a shopping mall with a thousand slow-moving zombies Ugh. or trapped in a mall with 20 fast-moving zombies? Oh, that's a good one. Slow. Go. Slow. Because then I can blend in, get their scent on me, blend in with them, be slow, and then get the fuck out of there. All right. Yeah. You don't want to mess with fast zombies. Like, 20 days later shit, you don't want to mess with that. You want to mess with, like, the slow walking dead type. Because then you could put blood on you, blend in, get the hell out Was of there. Was that the first movie that had the fast, fast ones? Yeah. Yeah, because I remember yeah. seeing that and going, what the fuck? Yep. And the I remember Danny one Boyle. of their shirts flipped up and it was a normal person. And they person. showed penis in that movie. They showed Cillian Murphy's mm -hmm. penis in like the opening shot. And I was like, I'm so into this. <laughs> I'm hooked. <laughs> so yeah. Fast moving zombies. Make sure All right. you cross that one out. With the penis? <laughs> cross that. I'll never cross penis off my list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. You only have three more. I guess I did less. I thought you guys had the same amount. I guess he did more. All right. Would you rather watch the tape from the ring or have to say Candyman in front of a dark mirror? Wait, in front of a dark mirror. Yes. Go. Oh, you already lost. Just kidding. <laughs> Go. Candyman. Really? I would say Candyman. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Man, you're loud. You're hurting my fucking ears over here. Why would you rather do Candyman than um, the ring tape? Uh, Seven days. Because I know it. Because I know it's coming, rather than not know when it's coming. So you'd rather get like hooked by Candyman than. Um... Well, if I'm going to die, then I'm sure as hell going to fucking die, like, gruesome. Like, all, all out? Yeah, might as well go. I don't okay. want to be fucking, like, found on my sofa watching TV with my mouth wide open looking like a fucking ghoul. Yeah, that's crazy. If I want to be found, I want to be found with my fucking guts all open and all spread out. all over the place. Balls out. Go big or go home. Yeah, exactly. Balls to the wall. Yep. That's just how I do things. <laughs> I'd probably be found with my mouth open. She's 
scary though. Yeah. <laughs> True. I prayed the first time I saw the ring. Literally said this is like what early two thousands. Literally seven days or uh, no, the day after I called my friend, and I was like seven days, and she got so <laughs> freaked out. It was hilarious. <laughs> the movie's scary though. I didn't think so. Girls freak me out. Men don't freak me out. Girls with like long hair and moving all weird freak me out. No, did. Really? No, noted. I'm oh, noted. fuck you! You better not plan anything. Noted. Like the nun, and then like just I don't know. That's just. I know a contortionist. Me. Ew! No, 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 female, no, 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 so... no, no, no! They freak me out. No. Yeah, I know. I Next. know what we're doing Halloween. Next. <laughs> Next. Next. What about that part they added to The Exorcist? Which is going down the stairs. That was freaky. Yeah. <clears throat> that was freaky. Okay. Oops. <laughs> All right. I think she just likes pressing. Hey, don't take my buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Um, Make it good. Come on. Would you rather have a candlelight at Ted Bundy's place? What? Candlelight dinner. Oh. Would you rather have a candlelit dinner at Ted Bundy's place? Or have a candlelit dinner with John Wayne Gacy at his place. Ted Bundy, because John John Wayne Gacy was gay and only liked little boys. Ted Bundy liked women. And he only liked brunettes, and I'm blonde now. So I feel like I would I have think a, he'd make an exception for you. Though. I would have a better chance <laughs> in escaping. He'd be like, this bitch is annoying. Yeah. And I'm just going to put her out when of her misery. Sad... <laughs> when, I, when I was asked that question, I was like, when I, when I got asked that question, I was like, Bundy. Yeah. At least because if I do Gacy... You'd be buried under his well, house. Well, because if, like, if I went to Bundy, at least he'd feed me before he killed me. Yeah. If I went to Gacy's house, he'd just fuck me and then eat me. And then bury, <laughs> bury you under his house. Yeah, so I'd choose uh, Bundy. Yeah. Plus, I feel like we would have like intellectual conversations. And he was a Sagittarius, so I feel like I would work him to get out. And I'm blonde, so he wouldn't kill me. Yeah. I don't know. You're kind of annoying. <laughs> I, think he, I think he'd make an exception for you. Hmm. Well, would he have his way with me first? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'd still choose Bundy. I'd choose Bundy. Yeah. I would be more I'd psychotic. I'd choose Casey because I'm down with the fucking first. He would kill you. <laughs> he would he kill, kill you first. You're not a boy. You're not a boy, though. He don't like boys. <laughs> yeah, true. He don't like boys. <clears throat> so you'd be safe. <laughs> I just heard fucking first. I'm like, I'm there. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. I like to fuck first. Ask questions later. <laughs> yeah, ask questions later. <laughs> no, you ask questions first. <laughs> All right. Boring Virgo. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Virgos are the most secretive of the sign, so. No, I think Scorpios are the but most secretive. But Virgo, secret. my day though. Although I feel like I've given away more than I normally do. My p- particular day said I'm more secretive than other Virgos. Oh, August on the 20, secret language. August 25th, yeah, I'm more secretive than other Virgos, so. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny's like, shut the fuck up. I'm wearing my Joe Bob Briggs fucking <laughs> shirt. I'm drinking a Duff. Just shut the fuck up and ask me all these questions. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he feels about you yeah, right now. Right? He's all burn. All right. And I'm out of duff, so. You want some of this? No. That's gross. I don't know how you can drink that. That's fucking gross. It's not bad. It's not bad, it's, actually. It's, it's fucking gross. It's not bad. Would you rather have all of your teeth plucked out Ugh. or, so like you're awake? Yeah. Well, let me, so yeah. you're, you're awake and your teeth. No, it's like going I, to the dentist. I got, I got it. I got going it. Going to the dentist. With pliers. Plucked out with pliers. I got it. I got what it. was that dog? What was that movie? Dog, dog tooth? tooth? Where they did the Greek, that? Yeah, dog tooth. Or have all of your fingers and toenails ripped off. That's a hard one, right? Do, 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 do. Toenails and fingers. Ripped off? <laughs> Have you ever had a toenail or a fingernail ripped off? It fucking hurts. Yeah, um, my big toe when I stubbed it with a, Ugh. I hit it with a hammer and then it, it got so big that the toenail started popping out and Ouch. I fucking just ripped it off and it fucking hurt. It hurts. Okay, I have an interesting story about both of these have happened to me. So I had, I have actually decent teeth that I take care of but I had a little broken in my jaw 
and an infection started and the Novocaine would not work oh. at all. So they had to yank out the tooth without me <laughs> being numb. Oh my God. And then I was pregnant. I had an ingrown toenail that had gotten like crazy out of control, like grew into the side of my foot. And I got pregnant right before I went to the doctor. I was like, so he told me he couldn't numb it because I was pregnant and he had to rip out my toenail without any of it being numb. <laughs> so I've experienced both of those. So what would you And rather they have? both suck. I feel they like the both tooth, suck. I feel like the tooth would hurt more. I was, it, that was almost traumatizing. Because it like, connects to your nerves, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, when I went back yeah. to the dentist the next day, he was, he told me he couldn't sleep that night because oh. he was so upset about taking my tooth out like that but it needed to come out the teeth are connected to all those nerves up here and i feel like the toenail yeah. like, fucking hurts like a bitch because i've had that happen and i've also stabbed with he a knife. used his pliers he had to oh, use his pliers God. and rip out my toenail i think I'd and, rather do and the rip nails. it off i'd rather do the nails than the teeth because the teeth like i said it's all connected i will to say he like put me he's all put your head down he like yeah. put me upside down on this thing because i was Oh. I got nauseous and I have a really high tolerance to pain, but yeah, um, but that's like, that's real teeth. You don't want to mess yeah. with teeth. That's really painful. The tooth thing I would say is, was a little more um, intense. I was, yeah. I was in pain for hours. It's like bug. Did you ever see that. bug with Michael yeah. Shannon when he rips out his tooth? Oh, so this is how they can hear me. He's so hot. But yeah, I was like, <laughs> all right. All right. I would. So you guys are just pussies. What? <laughs> I hate that word. I've done both those. That's a I hate dumb word. No, I'm kidding. Such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hate it. All right. So it's your turn. turn now. My turn. No, it's your turn now. Then why'd you take that? Because I'm oh, always yeah. gonna pull out okay. of that. Oh my god. Oh I won't. Why are you pulling my dick? <laughs> Quit pulling my chain. All right. Would you ra would you rather <laughs> Receive paper cuts between every finger, oh, man. toe, oh. and the corners of your mouth, oh. or burn down your home and all your possessions go. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Okay, this is getting harder now. Paper cuts. Not fun. Oh, Not look fun, at that. but I'd rather, because those heal, burnt down homes don't heal. They don't. It's not fun, but and I've had that. I've had multiple paper cuts, like between the wet, like I call it this, like the crotch Ooh, the area. Webbing. The <laughs> fucking webbing. hurts. Yeah. The webbing and fucking hurts so bad. On your gooch? On my never had my gooch. <laughs> On but, your hand gooch? <laughs> but it, like I don't want my cats to die, my plant babies, my crystals. Like I don't want those to die. So I'd rather your crystals probably wouldn't die. You don't think they'd melt in the fire? I don't know. But they wouldn't die. They would have to. It would have to be like a real. Your cats be like minerals. Pot. So are you talking about your cats too? Possessions, everything. everything, everything, the whole house. Yeah, my plants, my cats. Everything, yeah, everything would die. I'd rather sacrifice myself than have all of that. And the corners of your mouth too. <sighs> I've had that. And your eyes. I'm adding your eyes. No, you can't the add that. The corners of minute. your eyes. No, <laughs> you can't add that. That's a terrible scenario. That's horrible. What would you pick? Would you do my, paper cuts? No, it's my house. Really? Yeah. With I everything. Your every, cats, everything, your pets. Everything. I can, he has I, no pets. <laughs> <laughs> this house. I, 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 oh, well, I can't say that because I don't live here full time. If you did, though, the pets, the people. Well, you know, pets could, pets are outdoors anyway. Are pets possessions? No, no you can can't do utility. that. You can't pets be inside. Pets are not well, possessions. see, here's the thing. It's like, well, when I was asked that question, I said possessions because it's like I can rebuild. I can rebuild. Pets, still, though, you can't rebuild. It is hundreds of dollars, though. It is. Yeah. But it is. Yes, And it is. you lose your pets. Yeah. Yes. I, I get that. And your loved ones. I, I get that. But at the same time, it's like, well. Like, you'd rather have her burn than you get paper cuts? Well, Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, I guess we know how this ends. Well, she's not even my possession, so it doesn't True mean True story. But you know what I Fucking mean? Fucking nobody owns me. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Anybody like that's inside. Yeah, but, it's, it's, but it was, but in the, the question, in the message that I got, in parentheses, it said materials only. Oh, So materials really? only. That makes it easy. 
And so it was that, but that's why I didn't put it there because I, because then it'd be just it'd be an easier. How question. deep would the paper cuts be? It doesn't matter. A paper cut right so here. So I'd rather have hurt. my tooth pulled and my toenail pulled off than possession. Possessions my possessions. Burn. Well, That's because, a hard one. Been there, done one, that. Like yeah. my material things, shirts, all that stuff, I can I can rebuild. I still yeah. have a job. I still have whatever. But your pets, though. But at the same time, it's like. Fuck, that's just a sacrifice you just have to make at the time. You so know, you'd rather you, have panda than get die? paper cuts? You'd rather have panda die than get a paper cut? Well, not my pet. <laughs> but she is, though. <laughs> She's your pet. She's technically your pet. So he doesn't have any pets. She's technically your pet. His Come apartment, on. so the apartment, they would, it wouldn't even be money out of his pocket. <clears throat> because the apartment would rebuild. <laughs> of course, they'd probably kick you out. What it's it hard, though, when you have pets involved. Yeah, but at the same time, you said material, so that's... Materials is a pet. It's a, it counts. They're no. there. They're there in your house. They don't count as materials, though. No, they're, they're not material things. They're not accessories. They're, they're, they're fucking things. They're, 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 they're for material. accessories. No. They're for it's accessories. Done. Okay, the moving material. on. I'm not going to get into the conversation. Next. Pass the champagne. Pass the champagne. Pass the champagne. I mean, your champagne would get burned. That would oh, suck. fuck that. Would be that. A that would fucking fuck that. suck. Deal off. Yeah. <laughs> Do not take my alcohol. <laughs> I would just like my plants, my crystals, my pets. Like, fuck I'll that. I'll just hand you the almond milk. I, mean, <laughs> I imagine that. <laughs> that. Almond milk. How's that duck doing? It's gone. You're done? It's gone. Make sure you recycle. You're the clean cleaning. We recycle. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need to do cheers over this. <clears throat> we do. Let me add more of this here. Voila. Let me add a little bit of... All right. Ready? One, two, three. Bing. Bing. What are you getting now? What Dr. is that? Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. My second favorite drink. Do you like that over Mr. Pibb or do you like Mr. Pibb better? Mr. Pibb when I was, was a kid, a that's all I used to drink was Mr. Pibb. Mr. Pibb was so good. And then was Mr. Pibb Extra? And yeah. I was like, oh my god, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gave up soda when I was like 21. But I used to drink soda all the time. Alright, so it's John, is it... Wait, fix that. Is it my turn now? It's it my is... turn now. Yeah. Wait. Is it? No, it's yeah. my turn. It's his you turn. Just, no, you answered it. No, you, were, you just asked a material question. Yeah. See, Paper now cuts? you're Oh, confused. okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. All right, no. here we go. It's not me. <laughs> I don't know what decade it is I want to make sure you don't draw out of this yeah. hat, girl. Uh, 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 uh. Like holding it far away. Uh, uh. All right. Let's go. Wait. Bull. Oh, look, we're at. <laughs> Your phone dies. It is right? almost done. Is it really? Yeah. Stop. We'll just have to count Reset. on our hands. All right, ready? Yes. Would you rather put all your enemies at a summer... Put your enemies? Fuck yeah. That question's already answered. Finish, I'd love to put the all my enemies finish the question. somewhere I that, where they're going to get fucking killed. Question. Would you rather put all your enemies at a summer camp for Jason to hunt or put your enemies in a battle royale situation? Battle royale. More okay, time. wait. This one it does not make sense because, yeah, of course, anywhere you—they're your enemies. Like, fuck you. I'm gonna put you in the worst situation possible. Which is battle royale. But that doesn't make any sense. How is that even a like a struggle to decide? Like, they're your fucking enemies. Like, fuck you. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you in every situation. Because or you're going to get tortured and killed. It's, it's versus all right. film versus film. It's Would versus... you rather put all your family at a summer camp for Jason to hunt or put your family in a battle royale situation? Go. First of all, I want to say fuck you. And second of all, uh, put them in Jason. Why? No, fuck you. Why, why Jason versus <laughs> battle royale? Oh, because I'm not that cruel. <laughs> At least ah. they can survive. So if it's family, you do Jason. If it's enemies, you do Battle Royale. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, because that's I an easy off. one. No, it's not an easy one. It's not easy. It's absolutely easy when it's your enemies. But I would rather take the joy. I don't hate that many I, people, I but would, the people I hate, 
Um, can I answer? Fucking or whatever is the worst stupid. situation. <laughs> Go. Okay, no. All right, let's move on. Move on. Your question. Next question. My turn. All right. <laughs> Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> All right. Would you rather have Freddie, Jason, and Pennywise run a train on you oh, yeah, tag team. for one day or watch... Caillou. It's Caillou, so, isn't Caillou. it? Caillou. on repeat for the rest of your life. I don't know so what for, Caillou so is. for Caillou, I don't know what that for is. people that don't know, that is the worst cartoon show oh. ever. I used to watch it. I would tag team double me Pennywise... Right? <laughs> I would have those guys up in my grill then Caillou, whatever Caillou is. <laughs> Just being honest. Yes. You must have something in Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Ready? Is that the You're last no one? Fun. That's the last one. Read it, read it, read it. Okay. Ready? Yes. Would you rather have sex with the hottest person you know that's freshly dead <laughs> or have sex with the ugliest and smelliest person but they are alive? Go. That's so easy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh... Sex with the smelliest person but they're alive <sighs> and they're ugly. Oh, he's doing the shocker. Ah, motherfucker. He's doing the shocker. Ah, really? You couldn't answer ah, that? Uh, <laughs> really? I would choose fucking necrophilia over that. Like, if River Phoenix freshly came in over, like, a... Or Alexander Skarsgård or, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, like, pfft, you don't even have to ask me twice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on that. I'm all over that. <laughs> I'm on that rigor mortis mm -hmm. cock. Oh. Rather than, you know. <laughs> you really couldn't answer that? You really couldn't answer that? Yeah, I couldn't answer that. Why? I don't know. Just like, I don't know. I can't. So, okay, there's no answer in that. No, All right, well, that's it for my question. So I guess we got to play off of your question still. All right. So now it's my turn. Okay. Okay. Would you rather be killed by a great white shark? Oh, fuck. Or a group of man-eating piranhas? Go. Fuck that shit. Neither. Oh, uh, I guess. Hmm. I, uh, Seven. These eight, are like, no, nine, stop it. These ten. are my worst fears. <laughs> these are my worst fears. I fucking I hate, know. That was I hate perfect. sharks. I hate underwater. Like this, all, this shit creeps me out. Neither shock. Where That's is right it? there in front of you. Would you like a piece of gum? Oh my god, I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> it... Oh! <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, That's terrible. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh my god. Next. Next. Right. We're gonna take a bathroom break real quick. Right back. <laughs> Oh my god. Looks cute on you. Okay, ready? It's like Count down so we can hear you. Alright, alright. We're back. Alright, had a go a little bathroom break, a little break. Five minute. Uh five minute break. We needed a five minute break because everyone was starting to get a little little crazy. So cry, cry. And then uh there's a bunch of refills going on right now too, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. And there we go. <laughs> Round four. Mm. Whose turn is it? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whose turn is it? At least I'm a happy drunk Ooh. and not an angry drunk. Wait, I, I think I went last, I right? Went last. You went last, so it's my turn? Last. Okay. It's your turn. All right. This better be good. Better oh, be wait, no. Piranhas. Piranhas. Oh, yeah. that's right. It's I couldn't choose. Oh, look, I you're not choose. even drinking. Well, he, he has to remember. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay. that was a horrible one, by the way, because everyone knows I'm afraid of great whites. Or any ocean type of creature. 
I know. What it's about so humanoids from the deep? Oh God, <laughs> Jesus. Men in fucking uh, I can't choose. monster suits. No, I can't choose. <laughs> All right. In wetsuits. No. Would you rather relive? Would you rather relive your worst nightmare every day? It's my turn. By the way. Oh. Yeah, we know. Would you rather? She's looking at you. I was reading oh. Georgina. <laughs> I'm mimosa, buddy. Uh, relive your worst nightmare every day. Or give your boss a rim job on oh, command. Oh, oh, go! Have you ever done a rim job? No. <laughs> Liar. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, shit. Sorry. Exactly. Why shit. Are, why are people on a rim job? I don't, I don't get it. It's not a sexy I was gonna, thing. I was going to answer, but then you fucking threw me off. I'm with sorry. That. No, 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 it's fine. That's all right, we'll give you, you five more no, no, seconds. No, 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 I mean, that, it's already Go. No, it's already done. It's Which already would done. you rather do? No, I want to know. Ah. <laughs> I mean, is your boss ah. what? Does that matter? You're still going to get shit on your nose and on your tongue. If you what if they, like, what if they did, like, a, uh, what do you call it? But a, it's uh, on command. What if they were really clean? What if they did, what do you call a, um... They cleanse their, what do you call it? Bleach? No, no, no. Bleach um, their ass? Enema. What if they just like freshly oh. did an enema and it's like super clean? We need and they're an like, enema. And they're like, well, really, they're like Batman? And they're like really <laughs> hot. Would that like matter? Would that matter to you? Who's your celebrity crush? Don't have one. Really? <laughs> I've got like 20. Wait, well, would you? If there was like Alexander really Skarsgård, yeah. But what if he didn't wipe his ass? <laughs> because though? he has because... my birthday, and like I know he'd be clean down there because yeah, right? he'd be like worried. Yes. Well, I was gonna answer. I was gonna answer, but my worst nightmare involved my whole family getting killed in ways that they've lived, and my okay. friends being killed, and me being stuck in a room with a woman that's all draped in blood. Ew. And it's just it's crazy. Actually, like... no, the worst nightmare I had was, <laughs> well, what? that, actually, it was, it's either that one or the other one where, um, I actually had to kill someone, but if, if I killed her, she, she, like, she won, she pulled John Doe, so, I mean, okay. I don't know, either way, like, my, my nightmares are pretty gnarly, so. Yeah, I know, I've heard, like, some of your nightmares are pretty, and you get nightmares a lot. Yeah, I yeah. do, and so. I don't know. I, I think I would have done my nightmares because at least okay. with my nightmares, I know what's coming and I yeah. can expect it. But I, I well, rim job you can't expect. <laughs> you don't know if they clean or not. Well, you the don't fuck know if your boss is like, you might like it. <laughs> All I know is like it'd be different if they were like super super clean. If it's like a couple seconds, that's okay. But like if they're dirty and like not clean, no, I'd rather move. So you gotta mark me down on there. Yeah, mark that shit. I've done three, I think. He's done, like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> rim jobs? A lot of rim jobs? <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. Just, just, just don't have to do that. It's, it's, I'm doing it. But it's annoying I'm... on my headphones. It is, it's oh, my up. God. Like, don't spilling all over myself. All right. Okay. Would you rather... Be what? What does that say? <laughs> gutted. Oh. oh. Would you rather be gutted and hung from a tree, or get your, or get your entire family, or gut your entire family and hang them from a tree? So would you rather be gutted? Or would you rather have your family gutted Go. and hanged? Family. <laughs> uh, right? right? I was going to make the same. <laughs> I sure hope, I hope none of your relatives are listening. <laughs> I'm mad at a lot of my relatives right now, so fuck them. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't okay. talk to much of my family. So yep. I'll probably be them. <laughs> Better them than me, you right? Beat me. I, I actually like my family. So, even though I don't talk to them all the time. Well, I like, I I like my parents, but I'm mad at a lot of others. Ooh, one now. down. All right, yeah, crumple that. Throw that shit. You know we're going to have to pick that up. Yeah, we'll make soleil for you. I'll give you the broom. <laughs> Sweet.
weep that up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? Would you rather drown or would you rather get burned alive? Go. That's a boring one. That's a popular question, too. Burned. What? What? Burned. Oh, my that's big, a hard one. One of my biggest fears is, is drowning. Is drowning? I had a bad experience once. Um, so I, I can't swim. You can't, I, I, I can't swim. And uh, I didn't know that. My uh, so when I was a kid, uh, I had uh, I was we had an apartment. I lived in an apartment complex. We had our own pool and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So one day I went down there and I I couldn't swim and like everyone kind of knew that I couldn't swim. Mm -hmm. And the guy that lived underneath us, um, the homie Sean. I mean, he was a good dude. You know what I mean? He was a really yeah. good dude, really funny guy, and. And so he came in, and then he pushed me into the pool, the, the deep end, oh, and it was fuck. eight feet, and I couldn't swim. And he didn't know, and I was like, oh, I and he came in and uh, he got me out, and then I went home, and I was just like, oh shit. And then my stepdad's like, what the fuck? I'm like, seriously? I'm like, I should go fuck that guy. I was like, no, 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 it's cool, man. And then he came up and said, hey, man, I'm sorry, I didn't know you couldn't swim. So like, he felt so bad about that, and I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. So. So he didn't mean he wasn't malicious or anything, but at that point, I just I felt like pressure. Yeah, you feel the pressure on yeah. your body, and it's just like, oh god, no, I, I I'd rather Seems be. Seems like that would be quicker though, than burning a quicker death. I had a similar experience. I mean, I've always been a swimmer, but someone did that to me. A bully did that to me when I was younger, and it was the very very deep end, like twelve feet plus, mm -hmm. and I was just like a kid, and I thought I was done. Like, he pushed me so far deep, and I was like, this is it. Like, in my mind, I thought this was it. This is how I was going to die. And I was like, eight years old or nine years old or something like that. And then I finally rose to the surface. And then, you know that pressure when you are in the water, it gets in your nose and your ears? Ah, I thought I was, like, done for. Like, it was the worst thing. And they get, you get, like, swimmer's ear, which is terrible ear pain. Yeah. Oh, it's so terrible. But I, I don't know. It's a hard thing because, like, fire, I don't like heat. So I feel like I would rather be in water than boiled, like, charred skin. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a popular question, but I feel like it's a really hard question because unless Google you... Google it. What's yeah. quicker? The death from drowning or the death... We'll do, I think we'll drowning, do that off there. We'll do that off there. Yeah, I think drowning might be quicker. You yeah, know? I don't think it would be quicker, too. I don't know. Burning, it just feels, like, so intense. I don't know. I don't it know. It feels like it... I mean, you could be burned, like, 99 percent of your body and still be alive I'm that's sure that happened to burn. kane hotter he was burned a, a lot of, all over his body oh i didn't know that yeah that's why he's um the new documentary and then i was like hey i like your documentary um he did a stunt for this uh reporter but it was the wrong um material glue right or the adhesive that you have mm -hmm. to use on your body as a stunt man he was trying to do that and she got a wrong adhesive or some type uh, of material for him and that's what caused his burns so then he had to spend a lot of time at the san francisco hospital and burn uh, victim unit so that's why his ear and like certain parts of his neck oh i didn't even notice yeah. that when i was giving him shit <laughs> when you're giving him shit with his crusty underwear <laughs> but uh yeah he was a burn victim and he volunteers wow. at burn victim units oh yeah so yeah, yeah i, I just think burning be. and fire is horrible I rather, I think I'd, I mean, I, I have a fear of the water. I appreciate the water in the ocean. I feel very connected to it, but at the same time, I think it's completely mysterious yeah. as to what is under there and what is lurking under there. And there's so much we don't know. But I think I'd rather die by water than Johnny's like, I'm on fire. Son. I know. I'm in my element. I'm in my element. I'd so. rather get killed by a tree because I'm Earth, but whatever. <laughs> Noted. Yeah. <laughs> Go balls out, right? Just hit me, tree. <laughs> hit me. I don't care. Got a couple of rebels right out there. <laughs> I love rebels. Stand still. I'll, I'll get the chainsaw. <laughs> All right. My turn. Your turn. Would you rather watch... Midget porn. What the fuck? Midget porn or would you rather watch bestiality? Oh. Go. Midget porn. Go. Midget porn. Because I love animals and I don't want to see them in a sexualized way. 
Um, <laughs> oops, I hit that on accident. Unless it's like a werewolf scenario. Okay, no. <laughs> it depends. Would it be like a werewolf? No, it's bestiality. Okay, midget, midget porn then. If it's like werewolf man, like stalking woman in the woods, that's completely different. The wolf man banging the bride of Frankenstein. I'd be into that. I'd be into that. But that's, if it's that's, like... But that's not bestiality. That's just cosplay. Okay, so, so <laughs> midget, midget she porn She said she's into math. Yeah, midget porn then. <laughs> What's wrong with midget porn anyway? They're just people. Who's that guy then from Game of Thrones? He's hot, right? You think he's hot? Yeah. Huh. Learning more every day. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got a spider bite on my. What? <laughs> we are in the country. Um, what was that movie where the, about that farm? What farm? Where the guy died with the horse? Where people they thought it was a. Oh, the horse Maybe fucked I'm him wrong. to death. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh what yeah, this wasn't this? years ago. That's not in a movie. This it's actually a, happened. It's a document, or it's actually happened. Like, the like, horse did him. Yeah. Well, it was a farm that I guess the front was that it was a farm, but it was actually where people went and engaged and in had sex with and horses with it's animals. So and so then, disgusting. like a horse fucked this chicken. That's disgusting. Fucked her to I'm death. so against that. No, it was a guy. No, but he there was, was a woman. A male there was a woman. That died. There I was a woman that, that actually had sex with a horse. Did you see the movie? No, but I'm saying... The guy had sex with a horse. I know, but I'm saying there's another incident when there was a woman oh, yeah. and she had sex with a horse and then the horse killed her. No, that's disgusting. That's fucking that's insane. That's so fucking gross. Like, Hagazusa has a scene... Oh. You don't know, like, if she's doing a goat, she's milking it, and she's like... <laughs> she's playing with herself at the yeah, same time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. So, I mean, but that was like... Because the whole witchery thing, I don't know if she's felt like a connection to Mother Earth, but it's very, I think that might have been a bestiality scene. Let me know what you guys think, because I, I, you guys haven't seen it yet. It's on Shudder, but, um. Oh, whoops. Uh, 15 minutes later. <laughs> but I think, I think, be, I mean, I love animals. Uh, I love animals yeah. so much, and I, I, I think that's disgusting for people. I remember to reading a story about this guy that, um, he... Ha- was having sex with his dog. That's so gross. These peanut and butter. And he was like, no, but he swore. I think he had maybe a psychological issue because he was like, no, the dog is in love. I'm in love with the dog. The dog's in love with me. Something like that. That's like crazy. I can tell that she knows I love her. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's wrong. It's wrong on so many yeah. levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they don't have any say. Mm-mm. They're being put in situations that they have no say in. It's like absolutely disgusting yeah, yeah. it's wrong bestiality hashtag hashtag wrong but you know what? there's a lot of like bestiality type of films right like the wolfman or werewolf movies where it's like half man half beast you know yeah. all right anyways my turn so beauty, beauty and the beast is a bestiality movie too it is no if you actually look at it yeah it is yeah it is Yet Disney put that into our heads, like, "Hey, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal." But I think the but I think people took away that beast. I think that I think people took away the wrong message. It's yeah. like that's not what you're supposed to take away from that movie. <laughs> you're supposed to take away that. Don't judge the outcast. Or yeah, something. don't judge the book by its cover. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. That's the message. Yeah, of that I think movie. it was more supposed to be in a, the like kind of odd. Yeah, yeah like, don't mm-hmm. don't judge before yeah. you know. You know what I mean. Before but people you know. took before, but people took like, oh, bestiality is okay. Is that what they're saying? It's really? gross, man. Like I've heard stories. They'll use peanut butter on my dick, and the dog will lick it. Like that's fucking disgusting. Like that's so gross. gross. Anyways, all right. Yeah. Let's move on. From this. <laughs> I remember my when turn. I was little, one of the first. I had a cousin that had all these hustler magazines. Yeah. <laughs> and that was one of the. Um, the sections that was in Bestiality? There. Well, it was not. It was, like, I remember a guy dref, dressed up like, uh, like a wolf man or something, but he was, That's different, Or, though. like, a dog. Or yeah. A but that was the whole photo shoot of them, like, because having sex with... then if you go into, like, Greek mythology, like, pan, half man, half beast, half horse. Yeah. That's different. And he was a nymph. He would chase the nymphs in the forest. Like, that's different. If it's, like, a legitimate animal and, like, you put peanut butter in your privates for them to like like that's fucking weird yeah like that's weird <laughs> it's one thing if you're into cosplay or like the furries that dress up that's completely different <laughs> yeah you know what i mean but like legitimate bestiality is 
freaking. I mean, disgusting. basically, one does it cross the line into yeah. abusing animals, right? Which I'm, and I love animals. None of us are cool with. No, and I'm not cool with that at all. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Just to clarify for our listeners. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. Moving on. All right. My or for both our listeners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you two out there. Yeah. My turn. All right. Would you rather make a deal with the devil that gives you 10 years to complete, a complete success, success. At, at the things you dream of doing and then suddenly die? Hmm. Or live a long life of failure, never achieving your goal, but not knowing. What's that say? But not knowing you won't. But not knowing. Uh, deal with the devil. Really? Yeah. I'd rather. Ten years is a long time. I'd rather have a deal and know, like, yes, you I can do a lot. I can do a lot. Okay. I can do a lot within those ten years, rather than live my whole life not doing what I don't want to accomplish. It's like, what's worth living? If you're also, not going to accomplish, yeah, what you exactly. Want to accomplish. It's funny because when he was when he messaged me, we actually kind of got into a, a little bit of a convo about that, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like, you know what, I think I'd make a deal with the devil, honestly, yeah. too, because I said at least I would have for ten years of success, yeah. and then I suddenly die. Yeah, but it's it would sit within that span of ten years. You know what I mean? Right. You can die like year one, but yet whatever you did. It lives on. It lives on. And you so make an impact. it's whatever you did, and yeah. you can you can get your voice and your message out there. Exactly. And boom. Rather than not having a voice at all. Yeah, but the thing you know? is, is that you're still trying to achieve it, but you're but knowing that you won't do it. That's yeah. the thing. It's like you're you're hustling, you're grinding nonstop. But, but it's like, what's the point if you don't accomplish it? Yeah, you know? but you you don't. But you still think you can do it, but. You won't, you know. Deal but, with the devil. Yeah, I, I went with the deal with the devil too. I was yeah. like, you know what? If I could, then if, if I it could. took if it took <laughs> one movie or one album, one yeah. song, one video, one vlog, it whatever. It just takes one thing to impact a whole variety of. And people. it depends on what you say and yeah. how you say it. I think, you know, yeah, could could do it definitely. And yeah. I just think, you know what? At least I got my message out there. Yeah. Even if I'm alive or dead to Even see if you it. you are a Satanist now. Yeah. You ever hear the term, you're worth more dead than alive? And oh, it's yeah, true. And that's you got proof. Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Tupac, Jim Morrison, Biggie. Tupac, Biggie. It's true. You're worth more Mac dead Dre. than alive. Mac Dre. Oh, yeah. Especially Definitely. Mac Dre. You're worth more dead than alive. It's, it's Robert Johnson, yeah. who we talked about on an earlier episode. Yeah. And see, that's a perfect example, too, because he made, well, allegedly made a deal. Yeah. And then the, look what devil. happened yeah. years, decades later. Every person that's picked up a guitar yeah. has referenced him saying, it's because of him yeah. is why I'm playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was top, what, in the mid 50s? In the mid top 50s, 100s? Something like that, yeah. And the greatest guitar players? Mm -hmm. So he had success for like years, but then in the 60s really found success. So yeah. to me, that's interesting. So. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I agree on that. Define failure. I think failure is giving up on yourself, it's giving up on what speaks to you. At your most truth like what you're after what your passions are if you truly give that up it's like what are you what is your self-worth you know like you have to hold your integrity and i think people that just give that up you know i mean you can always live like a let me let me just like there's nothing wrong with living a basic life like i'm not saying like if you live a nine to five life you're a failure absolutely not like you keep doing what you got to do but what you value I think if you give that up, you're not you. You're not your truest self. And, like, what you're passionate about. Like, you could be you could be a fucking banker. But, like, if your dream is, like, I want to be a musician. But if you still do guitar lessons, if you still have, like, a side band or, like, a side gig and you're still doing, like, what you're passionate about, even if you're not super famous, that's not giving up. Like, you have to hold what's true to you. And I think if you never give that up and, like, what you want... As long as you're doing it on the side, as long as you're doing what you love to do on the side or a passion, you're doing you, you know? You're not like a sellout. You're not like a whatever. I think if you truly give up and just go into like the mundane, then that's giving up. And then that's a failure. Yeah. Just not pursuing what you what you want to do or what yeah. you love or 
or whatever. It's like people have dreams, people have passions, people have hobbies. It's, yeah. That's fine. Like this right here. This, yeah. This is know, a hobby. This, this is, is a hobby or this is a passion or this is a dream. Yeah. Like depends on how we look at it, you know. But at the same time, it's like we do this because we enjoy we doing We enjoy this. and we like doing it. We're not making like millions, buttloads of money, but we like doing it. You know, yeah, at, least, at least we're doing it. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is like we're having fun, yeah. and if we can, get I hope to, we're having fun. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and, but if we get to the next level, that's even better. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's just like whatever your passion is, mm-hmm. don't give up on that. Exactly. You know what I mean, like if you have a side hustle yeah. and that's something that you want to pursue, then do it. Yeah. But if, but if you just enjoy your life the way it is. That's fine too. Yeah, That's you do great. you. You do That's you. That's great, you yeah. know. But some people have dreams. Some people have aspirations. Some people have ambitions. Some people, some people, you know, dream about going and having a family and yeah. want to do that. Some That's people fine. dream about owning a house and they do that, or yeah. owning a new car, or opening a business, or a podcast, or having a record label, yeah. whatever it is. Whatever but, it makes you positive and makes you want to expand in that joy and that, you know. You have to you have to enjoy what you do, even if it's a side hustle. You might not enjoy your nine to five, but you're making money off of it, and you're living, you know, and you're existing, which is important. As long as you're doing something on the side that you love, that you're passionate about, I think if you keep doing it, and you keep having that attitude of like, I'm going to keep doing this, and I'm going to see what comes of it. You do you, you know. It's it's when you give up. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's and that, the problem. That happens a lot with people. But the question, but the question at heart is not really saying, you know, like, oh, you can live and survive. But the yeah. question is, is you're surviving, you're pursuing your passion and yeah. your ambition, aspirations. You're doing everything right. Mm-hmm. You're making the right moves, the right decisions. You're, you're doing everything. Yeah. Yet, you will never make it to that next level yeah. because you will not make a deal. Right. That's the question, and yeah. the question is, is that you can, we can do all this, still not make it to the next level unless we go shake that dude's hand. Right. That's the. That's the. Thing. That's the heart of it. You yeah. know what I mean? That's the heart of the question. I mean, I think everybody has an important voice and everybody has a say. Everybody has an experience. I think people lose that insight. They give up on it. They get used. Oh, I have a family. I can't do this anymore. And that's that's okay. Like. You have to have your priorities in check and like do what you got to do to survive. But I feel like a lot of people have that the little tiny drive inside of them still. And it's like, no, I got to keep pursuing this. But I think everybody has an important voice, different backgrounds, different cultures, and it matters, you know? So I think you just got to keep pursuing it no matter how it is. Even well, if I you don't get sometimes paid. Sometimes people fit, like it's already been decided before they even get there, like, yeah. What is a 40-year-old mom supposed to be like? Yeah. What mold do you fit in if you have a family? What is a... <clears throat> and I think sometimes that, that, that screws a factor. things up. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and it screws things up because you don't necessarily have to fit in this mold. Right. And you can still be a, a good a family man or a, you know, and still pursue different things instead of fitting into this idea of what... Yeah what society or what you even put on yourself that you think society expects of you. Of course, yeah. And then we live in such a new technological age where you don't have to be like a size 0 and 25 anymore. You could be like an obese 30-year-old and have like a huge following. Like it really does not matter. You know, yeah. Jackie Earl Haley didn't make it big till his mid-40s. That's true. And he was Hugh in Jackman like, didn't make it big till his like mid-30s. Yeah, and he was in a... And they kept going, they kept going. What was that film where he's a biker? He's a he's like a little shit biker. The original Bad News Bears. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He was in that, yeah. and then he didn't get popular until um, the Children one. What was it called? Little Children. Well, he got popular on any scene with that, but then it <clears throat> wasn't until Watchmen. Watchmen, Watchmen is what brought is, him out. Was what really you know. And look at off. Helen Mirren. Fuck, she was in like Caligula. She was in like a bunch of stuff teaching Mrs. Tingle, and then she became big when the Queen. You know, about um, the Queen in England, she became popular then, and she's like in her 70s now, and it's she's like at her all awesome time anyway. high. <laughs> and I love her quote. She's like, I wish I didn't give as much fucks. If I could tell people more to fuck off, Absolutely. I would. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it really doesn't matter. It's like if you have this passion and this drive at heart, 
keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Even if I, you're not a millionaire. I just think that's what it is. It's like, if you have the drive, yeah. do it. Yeah. If you have the passion, do it. The ambition. If you have any of that. It's you know, the people that it. give up or the failures. Yeah. If you live up to your own expectations as opposed to anybody else's expectations, yeah. you're probably going to be more successful on yeah. a personal level. True that. Wow, yep. we're so fucking we're deep. so deep right now. <laughs> we're caught balls like in deep right now. I feel like, what's his name? Smalley. Well, what's his of... name? I'm good enough from this. <laughs> well, I hate I'm to break it to you, enough. but the dog farted, so. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, oh. let's 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 do more questions. So more. whose turn is it now? It's my turn. It's your turn? All right. I feel like it's always your turn, Johnny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all about him. It's all, all about right. me. All right, would you rather... Oh, wait. This one. I just... <laughs> oh, Next. oh. How many do we have left? Not that much, right? Mm, four. Okay. We have four left, people. Five. Five right. for who, who is still sticking around and listening. <laughs> <laughs> right? How many mimosas later? I we finished the whole so yeah. bottle. Oh, and it, was a big, it was a big bottle, too. Yeah, yeah we'll, send, we'll take a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather... Be force-fed rotten chicken meat Gross. for 15 minutes, or would you rather perform an apodectomy on yourself without an aesthetic or a mirror? What's apodectomy? Apodectomy. What it's is that? A, I think it's an not. That's a trachea. Yeah, is it your like stomach area? Yeah. So like you get like slit you have open. To, you have to cut yourself open. And- Ugh, that's, oh, that's are we sure vegans. that's what it is? That's really hard for an vegans. apodectomy. We need to look this up so yeah, that we're we clear. I mean, I've heard that term. Too, before. I've had too many mimosas to even think. I've heard that term before. I just don't apodectomy. officially recall. I'm just too how do you mimosa spell it? in. A P. <laughs> Ask the mimosa bottle. <laughs> An apodectomy. I looked this up too. You're not even drinking. <laughs> yeah, An apodectomy right? is a surgical operation in which a viriform appendix is removed. Oh, appendix. Oh, okay. your appendix. Yeah, duh. Well, now we you all have feel two stupid. appendix, right? Okay, wait. Don't... No. Okay, you one, But you don't need it. Oh, it's kidneys that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. The mimosa's talking. <laughs> <laughs> It is, actually. <laughs> All right, so which would you rather do? Read the question again so we can clarify. All right, that. would you rather <clears throat> be force-fed rotten chicken meat for 15 minutes or would you rather perform an apodectomy on yourself without an aesthetic or a mirror? Go. It's your turn. Is it me or is it yeah, you? Yeah, it's you. It's you. Oh, you already really? said it was wow. you. <laughs> No, oh, fuck. Uh, that Duff seconds. is getting to you. Dr. Duff. Ten seconds. <laughs> Dr. Oh. Okay. That's a hard one. I was going to go. I, I've had food chicken. poisoning a it's couple terrible. times from, it's from terrible. chicken. It's terrible. That wasn't cooked all the way, which is, it sucks. But I... I think honestly, if past lives are a thing, I think I was probably tortured in a past life because I have a. By H. H. Holmes? Huh? You, do you think you were tortured by H. H. Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always think uh-huh. about that. Do you know H. H. Holmes? Like, Leonardo My DiCaprio is going to play him not... in a Martin Scorsese film. Oh, he had a hotel yeah. and he tortured yeah. women. Like, yeah. yeah, that gets me for some reason. I get Torture. really. And I'm. And empath yeah so you think and you were tortured so in past life i absolutely sometimes i see things in movies or i mean i don't know yeah I, i'm i'm like i don't you never know yeah. like you could do i don't like know a if meditation. there's a god i don't know but i i was gonna get um i went one time to get uh hypnotized mm-hmm. to see but i i wouldn't go under Really? Some reason, yeah, they couldn't put me under. I did it, and it was not what I expected. I always thought I was a hooker in the saloon Western You're a times. Hooker now, <laughs> <laughs> we're all hooking it. <laughs> but I thought I was like a saloon girl, like because I always feel like with the Western times, I associate with that. Like yeah. I don't know why, I just feel like such a connection with the Western, like saloons, like hey pilgrim. 
<laughs> I always feel like I was in that time, but I did a meditation, a past life meditation. It turns out I was in Egypt. So I, oh. I, I was like, what? And I was like black in Egypt. And I had like this necklace that was like royalty, but I wasn't royalty, but I was like not a peasant. Yeah. So I don't know. It was really interesting, but I feel like torture is a really interesting subject. I get no. real. We were one time at a film festival, and there was it was a cartoon, <laughs> and I had to walk out. Like really, the, and I I'm the type. I'm usually really calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, I can be in an emergency situation and be like someone you can count on to yeah. like give you mouth to mouth or whatever. Um, but I have moments where I see parts in movies and I, and it's not tied to, I wasn't tortured in, you know, that yeah. I can think of in this life since yeah. I was little and, um, where I completely panic. Wow. And I had, the and, last movie. and I had to walk really? out. I had movie. to walk out. I could not handle. And when I read sometimes about situations that people are in, yeah. um, where they're being tortured, yeah. I, and I'm not prone to anxiety or panic attacks or anything like that. I'm yeah. super calm in my daily life and I'm super logical. So I'll sit and think about things before I get really, really emotional. Yeah. Um, but I, in certain situations, I just panic. Like panic. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I mean, if there is such a thing as past lives, which I think anything is possible, I think I was probably, there's like something to that. That's crazy. Yeah, I had to walk out. I what was movie like, was I it? Can't. Do you remember what it was, movie I don't was? remember. It was, it was a cartoon a, movie. We went to a short, huh. uh, movie short film, horror film festival. Movie it was shorts. a cartoon? And it was a cartoon. It and was fucking brutal. It was. Really? It was but brutal. I was just, I started to like where I couldn't. Wow. Where I, my. That's crazy. Yeah, she I, felt, I, I don't know. I got up, I'm like, I can't. I go, you can stay. I can't walk. Yeah. Wow. It does something to me. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Fuck that! <laughs> My <Fun> turn! that! <laughs> My turn. All right. Let's see. Would you rather perform a backflip off of a... Swim board. Diving board. No. What does that say? You can't read your writing. I can't read your writing. Ow. <laughs> What was that? I wrapped my knuckles on the table on uh, accident. So would you rather Damn perform mimosa. a backflip off a 10-foot lead into an alligator pit, Ugh. or would you rather be blindfolded, soaking wet, butt naked, and instructed to walk through a power supply case? What's a power oh. supply case? So it's like those cases that have like those, those like the bolts. So if you walk through it, you get shocked. Well, you'd what be was the alligator one again? You have to perform a backflip off a ledge. And is the alligator mouth like right open, like in Peter Pan? It's alligator pit. So <laughs> there's a bunch of alligators like in, in the Peter pit. Like in Peter Pan. Go. Shit, man. Go. There we know. go. I don't know. I don't know about this. Do, 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 I love do, alligators, do. and I think they're so cute. The power the power supplies one is fucking pretty gnarly. But that's power supply. Like you don't. Boom! Ten seconds. Boom! Just get shot. Okay, shock me. Shock me. Do it. Wait. How do I do it? Just pull it. Pull my finger. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> shot she almost did get her nipples. <laughs> 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 Maybe put that down I think here. I have one of these in my drawer. <laughs> I'm already used to it, like the tooth pulling or the nail pulling Ooh. thing. I'm like. <laughs> oh, man. All right. That's a hard one. We are on the final, final. I have one, two, three. Okay. All right. Who's? His turn now. <laughs> this one is specifically chosen for you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have aliens tickle your butthole or give Bigfoot a blowjob? Well, that's easy. Yeah, what the easy? hell? Yeah, that's easy. How's that yeah, easy? Yeah, like tickle, tickle, blow tickle, tickle my butt. Blowjobs are nothing. Blowjobs <laughs> are easy. That's yeah, easy. Yeah, true story. Yeah. Blow you jobs. know what you're doing, baby. <laughs> I mean, there might be extra fur because it's Bigfoot, but blowjobs are easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just spit on the hair. Spit out the hair and keep going. Yeah. 
Get it wet. Get through this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he might have like a big Johnson, you know. But <laughs> my butthole. Still. I don't want my butthole touch. There's a breathing technique for yeah. that. <laughs> So Johnny, you don't choke. Time him. He's, Do you like, know he's that? already up. He's oh, already up on the time. She didn't even run the time. Tickle your butthole or give Bigfoot a blowjob. Oh, my God. Uh, Wait. Choose, choose anyway. Well, my fucking time was up anyway. Okay, choose anyway. I want to know. If you mm. had to choose. I want to know. Butthole aliens or blowjob Bigfoot. I don't know. The tickling of the butthole might be fun. I don't know. They have weird... <laughs> the aliens, like, have weird fingers, and they might insert, even like, even more weird, reason to say yes might, like, to that. But they might... If you're into butt stuff, but I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> if, like, me, I'm not into butt stuff. <laughs> so I feel like if you're not into butt stuff, and you're not into, like, weird objects being inserted there, blowjob might be the easier way to go. <laughs> Maybe That's just true. me. That's just me. Unless there's face fucking involved, then that. Um, be... but there's not in this that scenario. That can get kind of hard. <laughs> Wait, we've just decided there is. Now you have to decide. Low job, bigfoot, so anal aliens. Fucking. No, this is for you. That's a porn. Me? Is it face fucking or butt tickling? God. <laughs> oh, no. Because face fucking can get kind of intense. Not that I know from experience. Like face sitting? No fucking. Like vagina on a guy's mouth. No, I can do that. Obviously, what? she doesn't know what face fucking is. Wait, what is face? Isn't it like women's vagina? It's like vagina? a blowjob, but like, they're <laughs> going at that? it. If you can see this motion. What is that? So like so a woman. Face so basically, is, you don't, so basically, you don't have the control where it's like your they're hands. They're pulling your hair, and then they're thrusting Well, like, he's mouth. adding the hair pulling thing. They're but eating, that's, like, they're eating hey, you Mr. out viciously. Fanty. They're thrusting No, no, no. Your you're oh, oh, I know what face fucking is. Okay. <laughs> Um, Obviously, you don't. Sorry, no, I thought it was like vagina That's on a face. That's the mimosa talking. Sorry, I thought it was vagina Mimosas. on a face. Face fucking, I've done it multiple times. Um, <laughs> I'd rather face fuck than anal Been touch. Been there, done that. <laughs> I'd rather face, I mean, because I can handle Alien it. Alien anal. I can handle it. Hey, here's what I would like. Butt stuff. Face fucking and a little alien anal at the same time. <laughs> Butt stuff I'm not into, I'm sorry. I'm, like that will cause down like with all of it. Butt stuff will cause like hemorrhoids and like who knows what's going on down there. Face fucking <laughs> You don't want to get a fissure in that. It's shit. just in your mouth. I can handle that. I can handle face fucking, not not alien <laughs> butt stuff. Even with Bigfoot. I Although mean, actually sometimes big guys have small dicks. Like a little yeah. smaller, so you but might look Bigfoot, out. But I think Bigfoot would have a big dick. Because he's got big feet. Yeah, Bigfoot matters. <laughs> Bigfoot. You know what that means. The he's proof's like, in the pudding. Twenty. I'm a size 20. My dick is like 15 <laughs> plus inches. No, but Imagine you know your foot? That. Your foot is the size of this to Supposedly. this. Supposedly. It is. No, it is. Should we test that I've theory? done it. I've done it. It is. So that means I've got a giant You've got cock. a big dick? <laughs> you know it. I'm okay, okay. Let me like tickle me. your butthole. <laughs> Next no. question. Squirt. I feel like that's... Okay. This is no Next butt question. stuff. Please turn out. Now we Please know the out. Virgo freak. Is there, <laughs> the is there a beer in the bottom drawer there? I think it cut off. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I need another one. To <laughs> Give us the ace pineapple cider. Yeah, that'll You just do. get a shock for that'll fun do. now. Fuck your face Thank and get you. shocked. This Shock is nipples turning, at the same time. This is turning into a perverted Scorpio podcast. <laughs> all the better, all the better. She's finally got her spinoff. I've got my, I finally got the podcast. Face fuck I've always anal wanted. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather face fuck than anal rape. <laughs> it wouldn't be rape because if you, you have hemorrhoids. Okay, have you it's hemorrhoids? just a tickle. Mm, I've had kids, lead. and that's when okay um, tickles can cause like diarrhea, farts, or squirts. Oh, <laughs> I'd yeah, rather, we don't want that. I'd Although do... maybe you would, that would deter them. They would start, and then they'd go. She just sharted on us. So I, if they're German, I'm not doing this. <laughs> if, yeah, you know what? Germans are into face shit. So <laughs> oh my God. I'm German. Tokyo's in the I am pissing. German. I'm German Irish. Well, there you go. That's why I you don't like shit want stuff. to be shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want to be shit on. That butthole better be clean. But Germans are into that. <laughs> like 
I DOS boots. Like, you wear boots ah! and you shit on them. I've seen that stuff. Like, DOS boots I've shit. Seen that shisa. Stuff. I've seen that stuff. DOS boots shisa. <laughs> like, no. Next. <laughs> All right. <laughs> DOS boots. All right. DOS boots. Okay, there's three left. Do hoss, smish. I'm going to... Oh, wait. No, there's two left. Okay. All right. Is he your Johnny's turn? next. Johnny's next. Yeah. No. Like, I'm done with I this shit. I was alien Bigfoot, so it's her. Oh, it's my oh, turn. Oh, okay. we're so confused. Does this get the better? Mimosa. Like, are there more intense questions? Oh, my God. There's two left, so I'm going to decide like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Do, do <laughs> Would you rather have your fingernails dipped in warm water and slowly pulled off by needle nose pliers? This is akin to the other one yeah. or would you rather perform They're all from the same person one push-up over hot coals push up over hot coals Ooh, yeah yeah i don't know oh wait wait well Go. she already answered it doesn't matter okay push up. time's up push up over hot coals it's like the tony robbins thing like yes you can walk over hot coals right you're like i can do this i can do oh. this i feel like that would be easier than um to do Fingernails. Not if you have chest hair, it's not. I don't think I have chest hairs. It would always. I don't think I have. Peach fuzz, but it's not like peach fuzz. Yeah, peach fuzz. 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 Peach my arms are pretty long. I always joke I have gorilla arms. I have long arms. Too. I'm like short, but my legs and arms are kind of long. I thought, okay. I thought these would be juicier. You said gnarly. Gnarly. You got some gnarly ones. Well, they were gnarly. I guess to you they're not gnarly. I don't yeah. fucking know to I you. I mean, I'm really She's extreme. She's hardcore. I'm really extreme. You're not hardcore. She can take a good face fucking. Unless you live So hardcore. there's nothing <laughs> that she can't do. Yeah. You might want to gonna get all kinds of things. I need to up the ante in this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Dildo rape. <laughs> oh wait, my phone's dying. Stop. Reset. Alright, Johnny's turn. Alright. Last one. This is the last one? Oh, the last Maybe one. Maybe we can come up with some that are just off the top of our heads. Okay. Ready? Would you rather cut your eyelids off Mm. With a rusty razor, rusty razor blade, mm. or would you rather attempt to escape an industrial-sized trash compactor filled with Nutella? Mm -hmm. Psh, fucking fucking Nutella. eat my way through that <laughs> one. What the fuck? You know what? Not when the trash compactor's going. Nutella is made of palm oil, and they kill orangutans. Yes. I am not a fan of Nutella. But uh, I guess just to Nutella. bring you down. You would eat the Nutella through no, the trash? I would, no, I would fucking swim my way out of Nutella. Would you really want to live life with no eyelids? No. Can you imagine? No. That'd be weird, right? How would but you see? But imagine if you didn't get out of the trash compactor. How would you see? And you got smashed. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 50-50. I it's would not right, want what to is, be what without is, eyelids. Uh, what is the gross... Did you even answer? Yeah, it's a Nutella. Okay. What is the grossest scenario you can give me? Ten seconds. Go. Don't look at me. Look at her. What is the grossest Scorpio like answer? Come on. I know you can think of this. What is the grossest I scenario? gave one already. Remember? When? Would you rather get anal from the greasy strangler or would you rather get eaten out by Pennywise the Clown? Which Pennywise? Tim Curry or Bill Skarsgård? The one with the sharpest teeth. Bill Skarsgård or Tim Curry? Who has the sharp? I don't know who has the sharpest teeth. Who has the sharpest teeth, Johnny? Maybe... Tim Curry? No. Yes. It'd be Bill Skarsgård. You would just like, say Bill Skarsgård. I mean, he, he is a Skarsgård, so go at it. But I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Tim Curry had sharper teeth. Hmm. I'm not a fan of the new It, so I, I'm outcasted on this one. But I feel like they could have made it more intense and they didn't. But yeah. It was too CGI for me. I agree. Yeah, it was, it was a little too CGI. CGI. It was great. I prefer and I the this, new one, but I don't like CGI. I've said this multiple times. The dialogue was great with him and Georgie and the, the gutter scene. That was fucking great. But then when he got really CGI, I was taken out of it. I feel like the I kind of got lost on that dance. The Pennywise, <laughs> the Pennywise CGI dance <laughs> took me out of it. Took <laughs> like, me the, the fuck out happening? of it. Tim I did Curry like the scene with scarier. the headless... Um, 
yeah, that, that was good. down the stairs. That was good. That was good. Yeah. That was creepy. I really liked the kids. Yeah. The kids were okay. You know, I, I like the original kids because they seemed more haunted to me. Jonathan Brandis, yeah. he lived a very tragic I life. I thought all around the acting was so bad. In the original? In the original. Why? Like, <laughs> I felt like they were I so... I was like, oh my God. Even girl, when I saw it at the time, the I was kids? like, wow. But I feel like... This is so bad. I don't know. I feel like it worked because you had Jonathan Brandis. You know, he actually hung himself in real life. Very tragic life. And then you had the girl that was in Ginger Snap. You know, so I feel like the, the kid cast was so great, and they all seemed very haunted. Yeah. They seemed like they were really effective. The new kids were good, but they kind of annoyed me a little bit. They were too, yeah. like, happy-go-lucky, where I feel like the original kids, they had a sense of doom and gloom about them. Yeah. I don't know. So, I, I mean, I'm excited. For I the, have a feeling I'm not going to like the second one as but much. But Bill Hader's in one. it. I do love him. And I fucking love him. If you watch yeah. Barry, you got to watch Barry HBO because Bill Hader is so fucking good in that. But, and that'll be an episode later on because Johnny needs to watch Barry. And Noho Hank, who's in Barry, is going to be the villain in Bill and Ted Adventure, the new one. So I'm excited oh, for that. Oh, wow. I'm so excited for that. Right? I love Bill and Ted. But, yeah, I just was let down in that. I was yeah. let down on the new one. I just felt like the CGI killed it. It was too comical. It was too Stranger Things. Yeah. Which I'm a fan of, but I, I feel like they really got into that whole, like, classic 80s kids thing, which Stranger Things was. So, I don't know. The original I, I like, because Tim Curry was so fucking haunting. Yeah, and Tim I'm wondering, Curry was good. I'm wondering if the new one is going to open up with the gay guy getting killed. Well, that's going to be in the movie. Is it? Yeah. Because that was in the book. That, that's going to be in And it's supposed to be, what's his name, um, who I like, who did uh, the Mother of French movie. He's a French director and writer. I, I heard he was going to be the gay guy that gets killed, so I hope they open up with that, because that's how the book was. But, yeah, I don't know. Different different episode, but we're done with our, our questions. Can you guys think of any? Yeah. Would you rather? Can you guys think of any would you rather? Like, just think of the most extreme scenario would you rather questions right now. Five seconds. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. It's weird. I had a whole bunch, and then, you can't like, think? when I was trying to think of them, and I didn't write anything down <laughs> because you guys had so many, and now. You can't think now? Johnny, can you think come of Come on, any? Johnny. I can't think of any. Oh, come on. Come up with something. Come think of like the most extreme like horror scenario that you can think of. Come on. I got nothing. Come on. Hey, baby. There's a dog right here. <laughs> Cutie baby. Hi, doggy. Fox wants like... peanut butter. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. That's so wrong. Did we read this? Question? All right. Oh, Art. did we not? I think we did. No, we did. Uh, yeah. Oh. All right, folks. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. our that's our episode. That's our game show of Would You Wait, rather... who won? I did. She did. Ginger so Snap won. won. So Ginger Snap won, which is uh, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> so what's the thing? You have to get shocked now. His penis has to get shocked. <laughs> the butthole butthole has to get chopped. you have to get tickled Come your on. butthole tickled <laughs> with the gum <laughs> what the fuck no <laughs> <laughs> a lot there's of butt play going on there's people episode. that are into that there's people a lot that of butt are into that there is. There is. okay 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 this, this episode is there's fucking... room for every. my Aquarius rising says there's room for everything this episode's gone off the motherfucking rails. <laughs> this and is this the mimosas. Did, it didn't even need to get into an hour in. It just went off the rails 20 minutes in the episode. So, <laughs> um, so for your host, the boogeyman, Johnny Zuko. And I'm the winner of this round, Ginger Snap. Oh yeah, she can't even fucking talk right now. It's all <laughs> I didn't mean it. Ginger Snap. <laughs> and the hostess. With the mostest. And our special host, Miss Moist. Miss Moist. Uh, shout out to her for hosting Keep it moist. today. Um, <laughs> so we... <laughs> Can you hear the water yeah, in the background? I'm here. <laughs> so we are done. <laughs> we are done. Cut it. Cut out. it out. Uncle okay, Joey, boy. <laughs> yeah. We are done.
fun. And so we <laughs> thank you for listening. Yeah, stay, stay scary. One, two, three. Stay scary. Okay. That's like a beatnik thing. Yeah. Right? Yep. Instead of clapping. Yeah. We're gonna be snapping instead of clapping. Snap that shit. So we are done. <laughs> I've been trying slapping. to do this outro for a minute now. Oh my god. Okay, so we are done. Uh, we'll this episode will be up later in the week. Uh, Elisa and I are gonna be taking a break because of the Fourth of July weekend. Stranger Things Netflix season three. So we will be back uh, second week of July. Um, don't have an episode lined up, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna figure that out we'll right now. Figure it out. Um, It'll all about be about. Or sharks. Shark week. Or shark week. Oh, shark God. Shark movies. Bigfoot. Stranger Things. Do we have to watch the Meg again? Because I don't want to do that. Stranger Things. You need to catch up oh on Stranger Things. Oh, my God. That things. movie was so stupid. Okay. So, that's it. So, we're taking a break. Uh, we'll be back the second week of July. So, until then, stay scary, everybody. Stay scary. <laughs>